Hello, my name is Paweł and this is Apple Newton Fun Channel. Today I want to show you two methods how to connect uh, our Newtons to modern Mac, modern Mac OS. Uh, I think that can be very interesting, especially for new users who struggle with this, uh, who don't know how to connect uh, their uh, brand new both uh, Newtons with their computers. Uh, in the past that was easy because uh, with old Macs we could use just standard cable uh, usually delivered with a Newton but now we have a problem because uh, Newton don't have a USB um, socket and connection ability and our new Macs have usually only USB to connect external uh, devices such as uh, Newton or something else. So, uh, there are two methods and I'm gonna first of all start uh, with the first method, so let's see. Uh, first method is to use just uh, cables and kind of adapters, converters. Um, cable I'm using, uh, it's a kind of um, cable with a USB connector on one side and with the RS 232 um, mail connector uh, and this is not only a simple uh, cable because actually inside of uh, this uh, part here there is a FTDI chipset uh, allows to convert the signal between USB and uh, standard serial uh, port so that cable is very very useful um, especially the cables with the FTDI chipset don't need any drivers for our Mac. So we simply just connect, we can just connect that cable and it will work with our Mac. We don't need to install any drivers and a special software. So less problems because of this. But uh, it's not only one cable we need to have to connect to our Mac. We need uh, another cable. That cable is a uh, a female uh, connector for um, RS-232 and uh, on, the, on the other side we have standard 8 uh, pin uh, serial connector for uh, our Newton. So uh, by using that cable we can uh, connect our older Newtons like a Series 100 um, or original uh, message uh, path. Uh, for Newton's 2000s, uh, I mean 2000 and 2100, we can use a slightly different cable. Uh, again, RS-232 female um, connector from one side and from the second wide, uh, from the second side, that kind of uh, special connector for Newton's uh, 2000 and 2100. With the Emate, uh, we have less problem because Emate uh, 300 have both that connector, so that um, kind of special connector, and also old-fashioned um, serial connector, so we can we can pick up which cable we want. I think uh, it's easier to uh, use that cable with a special dongle if we want to use with a Newton 2000 and 2100. Uh, so probably if you have Newton um, like this one, uh, you have both that cable and the dongle or like I uh, said before, you can use that kind of um, special cable made um, by Apple. Uh, for the newer uh, Newtons. So uh, how to connect uh, to uh, our Newton to computer? We need that two cables. We need to connect uh, RS-232 connectors together. Uh, one cable USB to our computer, second cable to uh, our Newton and basically that's all. One thing what I discovered recently not all modern Mac, let's say not all models, working properly with uh, that cables. Um, I just discovered that with my uh, MacBook, that if I connect that uh, cable to my MacBook, uh, I can see that cable working, everything's fine, 
but by using special software, I will um, actually show you in a minute, uh, I cannot have proper connection with my Newton. Newton just show me the kind of error that cannot connect with the software and there is a problem. So um, I'm not sure because I'm not specialist, but I think it's a matter of chipset, USB chipset inside of the computers. So not all Macs probably use the same uh, controllers. So some controllers working fine, some controllers don't work. So if you are unlucky, you can end up with, even with that cable, you cannot connect your Newton. In this case, it's better to try another computer. I have another uh, computer in the different room. So it's an iMac uh, from 2011. And that iMac working perfectly with that, with, with that cable. So there is no uh, problems. Um, so once again, if you have problems to when you use that kind of cable um, and you cannot uh, reach the connection with your Newton, probably your Mac have um, a little different uh, USB uh, controller inside. So that's all about cables. Uh, I'm gonna show you now the software I'm using uh, to uh, connect my Newton with the modern Mac. So I'm gonna show you a screen from my computer. So this is the website um, with the software. Uh, it's a Newton connection, uh, version 3.0. That version working perfectly with the newest uh, Mac OS. Uh, if you have older version of the operation system, you can download here um, the older version. That software is really nice because um, like you see on the website, you can uh, get connection with uh, your Newton. You can uh, view the information stored on your Newton, uh, a few information about technicality. You can backup data uh, from your Newton on your computer. So it's very good if you uh, want to change something on your Newton and you're not sure if you uh, don't break it. So it's always good to uh, make a backup. And of course, you can install the software, the packages with the application, with the data on your Newton, very useful. And uh, if you uh, look at this website, you have information about a few other options. One of the interesting options is like you, mm, uh, after you connect your Newton with your computer, you can use computer keyboard to uh, type a text on your Newton. If you need to um, put more text um, or you want to type very quickly on your Newton, it's a very useful function, so it's quite interesting. And another interesting function is to take a screenshots from uh, your Newton. So if you want to uh, prepare kind of a note tutorial or something else, or you want to share um, with uh, the screen content of your Newton, this is good. Uh, good option and uh, a few other options but I'm gonna um, ask you to check the website and you can read about this. Uh, I want to back uh, for a moment uh, to the cables. Uh, on my website applenewton.co.uk you can find um, that articles best USB to RS232 cable for NCX and Newtons. Um, I just put here a few information about cable I'm using. That cable uh, was made by Ugreen uh, company. I think the quality of the cable um, is really great and the cable is really cheap, about eight pounds. I, um, I um, paid for that cable and I bought it uh, on Amazon. So I think um, all of you who wants to that cable, you can easily find uh, on Amazon. Um, I just put a few information how to connect um, um, with your uh, Newton with your computer. Uh, it's also linked to the website with the software I'm using. Uh, and uh, um, I think this is very useful uh, information. So uh, this is the first method uh, you can use to connect your uh, Newton with a computer. Uh, and I think uh, this is the best way to uh, to do this. But I'm also using Wi-Fi card because in my Newton, you can see here, I have a Wi-Fi card. Uh, so um, it's possible to use the same uh, software 
uh, Newton connection NCX uh, with your modern computer and uh, connect your Newton by Wi-Fi. So in this case you don't need to use the cables, you just uh, need Wi-Fi connection configured on your Newton and the software on your Mac will, will recognize that connection. It's very useful because you don't need to you know connect all the time especially when you're moving your Newton you just uh, initialize the connection by the Wi-Fi and uh, you can um, you can have a connection with uh, Newton with the uh, computer so um, I don't want to go in the details but I'm gonna show you roughly what you need to do to have that kind of ability so first of all you need to have a card Wi-Fi card working with uh, Newton. On my website, uh, I'm going to show you in a second, uh, you can um, s you can find uh, another article I wrote about uh, Wi-Fi connection setup for Newton 2000s and EMA 300. I'm focusing on uh, that Newtons because um, Newton 2000 and EMA they are most reliable uh, Newtons and you basically do a lot of things with that Newton so I will uh, focus on that models um, because for example the the first uh, Newtons don't have ability to work with Wi-Fi so I'm, I'm, I'm just focused on that kind of uh, that that kind of uh, newer devices so back to uh, my website and information so here in this article you can find information how to step by step um, uh, install necessary software uh, to reach the Wi-Fi connection, how to configure it um, so it's a screen by screen on your Newton. I think it's uh, easy to do this. Uh, a few things you need to remember it's about um, cards uh, and about how to re properly configure the connection especially especially at the end of the article you have a few important uh, notes um, but I think uh, it's a good way to set up Wi-Fi connection so um, if you set up the Wi-Fi connection then you can use a special package uh, allows you to connect uh, your Newton by Wi-Fi uh, by using a TCP IP uh, protocol. So I'm gonna show you uh, the dock uh, uh, on my Newton. So for example when you're using the standard cable you need to use serial options to connect with your computer. But if you install that software I mentioned before you have that option TCP IP and um, then you need to in preferences of the settings you need to uh, put um, IP address of your computer then Newton will uh, know how to connect with your computer with NCX uh, software uh, and uh, mm, I'm gonna show you how it's working I think uh, should work so this is NCX software window. At this moment the window is empty. I'm gonna back to my Newton. I'm gonna press connect. The Wi-Fi card is initialized and Newton trying to um, get connection with um, computer. Okay, so we have a connection. Um, in a second I'm gonna show you the content of the computer so like you see um, we have uh, information about my Newton um, uh, on the left side a few other options but basically uh, at this moment we can install some uh, software and manage with uh, with our Newton so a really nice method of uh, connecting our Newton with the computer by using uh, Wi-Fi card and after we finish working with the, um, uh, with, the, our, with our computer we can basically just disconnect uh, and uh, that's all I think that will be all for today um, if you have any question, questions or suggestions please uh, leave them on the comments below the video and of course I'm gonna ask you for subscribe my channel 
and follow the next videos. Uh, I have a lot of ideas for the next videos. I want to show you a lot of uh, very interesting um, equipment for Newton in the future videos. So please follow me and see you next time.